Hey guys, this is Angus. Welcome to the first ever episode of Maker's Muse. So, I 3D print stuff. Lots of stuff. And there's a few tools that I've found that really help your success rate when it comes to low-cost, low-end FDM 3D printing. So I thought I'd like to sort of share these tools with you today. But firstly, safety. I'm not responsible for your accidents. So if you hurt yourself using these tools, it's you do so at your own risk and it's not my fault. Um, it's just not worth a bit of support material pinging off into your eye. So always wear safety glasses when you're cleaning up your prints. And the tools you use to remove support material are mega sharp. So always wear gloves when you're doing that. They're just it's just not worth it jabbing into your hand. Like these are two dollars. And just, just get a pair if you don't have any already. So with safety out of the way, we're gonna move on to printer specific tools. So these are tools that help you get more successful prints, less warping, and less balls of spaghetti when you come back to a seven hour print. So this is a hot air gun, or also known as a paint stripper. You can pretty much have a whole video dedicated to this. It's by far one of the most recommended tools in this whole list. Uh, if you have a MakerBot, Ultimaker, Up Machines, whatever, just get one. So I use mine mostly for preheating the bed in the chamber of the machine before I go to print. So with the Up Minis, the bed actually heats up, but the circuitry doesn't wait for it to fully heat up before it starts printing. So if you go from cold to printing, often you'll get warping, especially on large prints. So I use the heat gun literally for only 5 seconds or so to preheat that chamber, and it makes a huge difference to stopping warping. So how do you know your bed's hot? This is a temperature sensor. It's laser guided. Uh, you literally just point it at the place you're trying to work out how hot it is, and it has a little uh, digital readout in Celsius or uh, Fahrenheit. Then we have ABS juice. So ABS juice is literally just a mix of acetone and ABS. Uh, the exact quantities aren't important, you just want enough ABS mixed into the acetone so it's sort of a little bit viscous. If you put this stuff onto your print bed, it makes a huge difference to helping that first layer stick down and not warp. So a good tip with applying ABS juice to your print bed, do it while the bed's cold because if it gets hot, the acetone evaporates really fast and it gets hard to apply. You also have to be really careful of the fumes of the acetone and also the flammability of it. It's quite flammable. Then we have Bulldog Clips. So, if you have a first generation UP Plus, this is how the bed's held on, with Bulldog Clips. If you have an UP Mini, the bed actually slides into place. But what you'll find if you're printing very large prints, even if you get the, the first layer to stick really well to the bed, you'll get it warping up in the middle. It actually bows up from the forces. So what you can actually do, is use bulldog clips front and back to help that bed stay in place in those areas and it makes a huge difference to keeping your bed flat while it's printing large parts. Then last when it comes to uh, printer related tools is a business card, or in this case a bus card. What do you use this for? You use it to make sure your nozzle height is exactly right above your bed so it's not pressing too hard into the bed but it's not too high up so the first layer doesn't stick. Uh, you can actually experiment with different companies' business cards to work out which are the optimum thickness for your printer. Um, I've just gone with the bus card, it's quite thin, but it helps me get that perfect nozzle height which keeps that first layer stuck down really well. So next we're going to move on to print specific tools. So with FDM machines, support material allows you to print more complicated shapes, but the downside, especially in single extruder machines, is you have to remove that support material afterwards mechanically. So First of all, the most useful tool for getting prints off the bed is a spatula. This is the one that comes with the UP machines. It's razor sharp and absolutely use gloves when using this thing. It works really well, but it's super dangerous. Like, just be really careful with it. Always use gloves. The next useful tool is a pair of side cutters. So you want a pair that's quite thin and you want a pair with quite long, um, long jaws. So you can use this to grab material and pull it and pull the support material out. You can also use it to cut the scraggy ends of, of filament rolls off before you feed them into the extruder. Super handy. You don't want ones that are razor sharp, you just want ones that can grab that support material and help you pull it away. So from time to time you'll have to remove support material from really hard to reach places like small holes or crevices in your prints. So I actually use a small range of picks. These are just cheap picks from my local hardware store. And you can get into little holes and pick out the support material with them. They work really well, but again, they're super sharp, so always wear gloves when you're using them. So there you have it, 10 tools that will hopefully make your 3D printing easier, more enjoyable, and most importantly, more successful. 
So, I'm sure there's loads of tools that I've missed, so I'd love to hear about your suggestions in the comments for other tools that you find heaps handy with your 3D printing. And keep designing, making, 3D printing, and I look forward to seeing you again here on Maker's Muse. See ya.